The number of aircraft engine manufacturers worldwide is limited, yet competition among them is fierce, especially as the aviation industry faces constant fluctuations. However, Rolls-Royce consistently finds ways to innovate and make its mark, introducing the Ultrafan program, a highly promising project that could transform aircraft operations and deliver breakthrough efficiency for airlines. How will this engine change the industry? And can Rolls-Royce outpace its competitors to be a priority choice for customers? Let's find the answer after that. To understand what the future holds, it's essential to recognize the past, which serves as the foundation for what is yet to come. So, let's take a look at the history of this manufacturer's engines and how it led to the development of such an outstanding and unique engine. In the late 1960s, as the global jet engine industry entered a period of developing large turbofan engines, all manufacturers were striving to innovate in this new technology. However, the British faced disadvantages due to a lack of resources which made their engines less competitive compared to major rivals like General Electric and Pratt and Whitney from the United States. To overcome this limitation, Rolls-Royce created a distinctive design. Typically, jet engines need to adjust the rotational speeds for different parts of the engine. Each stage within the engine, such as the fan, compressor, and turbine, operates most efficiently at different speeds. This is because these stages have distinct functions and varying requirements for airflow and pressure. To address this, manufacturers divide the engine into two shafts rotating at different speeds. However, this method still results in the fan spinning too fast and producing significant noise. In large engines, the fan can reach supersonic speeds, a threshold the engine can withstand. However, Rolls-Royce made a difference by adding a third shaft to the standard two-shaft design directly connecting the fan to a dedicated turbine. This allows the fan to spin at its ideal speed, enhancing performance without significantly increasing complexity. Achieving immediate effectiveness with this three-shaft design was not easy, but over time, it became a core element that helped the manufacturer compete and shaped its renowned Trent engine family. However, Rolls-Royce's Trent 1000 engine designed for the Boeing 787 Dreamliner has faced several serious issues, particularly concerning performance and reliability. These problems include early wear and high temperature components and a higher than expected maintenance frequency. This not only impacts operating costs, but also diminishes the company's reliability in the eyes of customers, prompting them to choose General Electric's GNX engine instead. The challenges in maintaining stable performance have driven Rolls-Royce to seek new solutions, specifically through modern engine development programs like Ultrafan and Advance. These projects are expected to enhance fuel efficiency, increase durability, and directly compete with rivals such as General Electric and Pratt and Whitney. Given the reliability issues with the Trent 1000 on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, do you think Rolls-Royce's new projects like the Ultrafan can regain customer trust and effectively compete with engines like the Gen X? Leave your thoughts below. Rolls-Royce has implemented an engine development plan spanning 5 to 20 years with different phases for 10 and 20 years. The 10-year program called Advance is nearing completion and focuses on upgrading the company's existing engines. Advance is divided into two sub-programs. Advance 2 for the smaller BR700 engines commonly used on commercial aircraft and Advance 3 for larger engines like the Trent series. Advance 3 has many ambitious goals, including the integration of new technological solutions. A notable feature of the Trent engine series is that the core design has remained unchanged for many years, while upgrading the cold section has become increasingly complex. Consequently, engineers decided to make the core larger and more powerful while simplifying the cold section. Additionally, a series of significant advancements has been the use of 3D printing technology to manufacture complex components, making them lighter and more reliable. Rolls-Royce has also begun utilizing high-temperature ceramic materials to address the rising temperature issues within the engine. In addition, improvements in the combustion chamber have also been implemented to reduce fuel consumption and emissions. All of these technologies are complex but essential, helping to extend maintenance intervals, reduce fuel burn, and enhance overall engine performance. Currently, Advance 3 is actively being developed in collaboration with research centers and partner companies, preparing for the upgrades of the Trent 1000 
Trent 7000, and Trent XWB engines fitted on aircraft such as the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A330neo and A350. The gearbox is one of the standout features, breathing new life into the engine. Like a talented conductor leading an orchestra, the gearbox connects the shaft and the fan, optimizing the rotational speed. This is the focal point that the Ultrafan project harnesses, much like Pratt and Whitney's PW1000G engine did before. However, installing a gearbox into a large engine like the Ultrafan is no easy task. It must withstand immense forces and extreme temperatures, presenting numerous challenges for engineers. The introduction of the gearbox has also transformed the engine's design structure. Thanks to innovative improvements, the number of stages in the turbine has been reduced from 10 to 6, simplifying the design and significantly decreasing weight. This is crucial because turbines endure immense stress and extreme temperatures. Therefore, making them lighter not only enhances performance but also opens new avenues for creativity. A standout feature of this future engine is its fan representing a significant departure from traditional metal designs. Crafted from carbon composite with titanium leading edges, the Ultrafan's fan is not only visually stunning, but also lighter by up to 340 kilograms per engine compared to previous models. Notably, the gearbox reduces rotational speed and load, enabling the fan to achieve a remarkable diameter of 140 inches. In comparison, the fan on the GE9X engine of the Boeing 777X measures 134 inches, while the Trent XWB, although sizable, appears modest at just 118 inches. In designing the Ultrafan, Rolls-Royce considered integrating variable pitch blades for enhanced flight flexibility, potentially eliminating the need for a thrust reverser. However, this idea seems to have been shelved due to technical risks, even though a similar concept has been implemented in the CFM Rise engine with its open rotor design. The Ultrafan's fan diameter is 140 inches, with a total pressure ratio in the compressor reaching up to 70, one, an astounding figure. Previously, people were already impressed with the PW1000G's 12, two ratio, and the expected fuel consumption reduction, as claimed by the company, is projected to be 25% lower than the Trent series. However, this figure is compared to the earliest versions. Against the latest versions, this reduction would hover around 10%, which is still significant. With the potential to reduce fuel consumption by up to 25% compared to the Trent series, do you think the Ultrafan will become the first choice for airlines in the future? In terms of thrust capability, this engine is a successor to the Trent series. Across various tests, the prototype's thrust gradually increased, initially reaching between 31 to 36 tons, with a target of around 44 tons, higher than the thrust of even the most powerful Trent XWB engines. Meanwhile, the GE9X, designed specifically for the Boeing 777X, achieves thrust levels up to 110,000 pound force, about 50 tons, and also boasts improved fuel efficiency, with consumption reduced by around 10 to 15 percent compared to the G90, giving it a considerable competitive advantage in the commercial engine market. With a massive and promising engine like the Ultrafan, which aircraft will be fortunate enough and suitable to have it. There is speculation that it will most likely be used in the new 747 or the new A380 because of its size and performance. Could this happen? If two major aircraft manufacturers are planning to reproduce two jumbo jets, this future engine is likely to be the first choice. What do you think? In reality, the Ultrafan is not just a single engine. It's a program for developing future engines with similar architectures but varying technical specifications. Currently, research centers are continuing to test different variants, with the recently described engine merely serving as a cutting-edge technology demonstrator, showcasing the project's maximum potential. Therefore, it's not something we should expect to see under any airplane wing just yet. Rolls-Royce has affirmed that the engine concept is scalable, allowing engines with thrust ranging from 25,000 to 110,000 pound force. This range is highly ambitious, covering almost the entire spectrum of commercial jet engines. Potential Ultrafan models could eventually replace the latest Trent engines and even compete with the GE9X at the larger end of the market, 
while smaller versions could expand into the narrow body aircraft market where Rolls Royce has yet to establish dominance. Naturally, performance will vary across versions. Whether they can create a smaller engine with a high bypass ratio like 15, one for the A320 size is uncertain, but either way, Ultrafan is an impressive endeavor. And with commercial versions realistically expected to emerge only by the late 2020s or early 2030 EAS S, we must consider how the aviation industry will evolve by then. This engine may gradually replace Trent, launched just in time for the next generation of the A320, or even become the engine powering the long-awaited Boeing 797, which the Seattle team has been striving to bring to life, sometimes advancing the project, sometimes pausing it. Who knows where aviation might take us in the coming decade? So how will the Ultrafan truly perform in the future? Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you and see you next time.